All right, Pops, good to be back with you. I know we have Miss Kimberly Klein here as well. And I think today we're giving away some secrets. It could have been three, four, Kimberly, was it five even? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> well done. It's a secret. How many secrets? But we will be giving away some secrets today to help folks. Absolutely. All right. Now, these secrets that we're talking about, these are secrets that actually lower your interest rate. So for the longest time in your career, you were uh, you know, in the F&I office and Pops, you were on the front end selling the cars. There are ways and things that I can do if I'm coming in to buy a car that'll actually help me get a better interest rate when I go to do it. That would That's be right. correct. And I bet you, I, I bet Kimberly, the F&I goddess herself, probably knows more ways than any of us. Well, I don't know about that, Ray, but I do know a couple of ways that, that will help you lower your interest rate. So you let me know when we're ready. Go. Go for it. All right. Secret number one. There's something called a tear bump. And, and what exactly is a tear bump? So a tear bump is used by a finance manager um, in many different scenarios. So maybe you've got marginal credit. Um, and whenever a deal is sent over to the lender, you might get an instant check or an instant X, which is a decline. The finance manager can pick up the phone and say, hey, this came through too fast. Can you take a look at it for me and give me a tier bump, which would take you from, let's say, a tier two to a tier one. Now for you, that can mean special financing. It can mean the difference between getting that special APR rate or not. Okay, so that that would be huge. And and is that in a lot of cases you as the F and I manager pulling a favor from the bank? It's it is very much so. Because finance managers send an awful lot of business to the banks and occasionally they do call in favors and a tear bump would be one of those favors. So yeah, if something just doesn't look right, um and I just need to get you, you know, maybe your, maybe your credit score is a couple of points lower than where it needs to be to qualify for some financing or the difference between, let's say, a 5% interest rate and a 3% interest rate. It sometimes comes in tears and I can pick up the phone and say, hey, can you please give me a tear bump on this? I give you an awful lot of business. Come on, you can do it for me. And do remember that these lenders want to keep their dealerships happy and do as much business as they can. Absolutely. All right, so what's secret number two? All right, there's something called a large loan discount. And um, not all banks have these, but many banks do whenever they're working with the finance managers. A large loan discount usually applies to a loan that is over $30,000. So that can typically get a tenth of a point up to a quarter of a point off your interest rate. So as long as you're getting buy rate, should we refresh on what buy rate is, which is the interest rate that comes over on the approval before the finance manager not marks it up. Um, get your buy rate and get your large loan discount if you're going over $30,000. Make sure you tell the finance manager about that. No one knows about large loan discounts, but if you go in there prepared, well, good for you. You know who does know about the large loan discount? The finance manager. <laughs> and, and so the finance right. manager very well might not suggest it or probably would not suggest it to the customer. So it's on the customer to know this and to ask, does this loan qualify for a large loan discount on the rate? Uh, and, and also this can play into like if somebody is uh, planning on putting $5,000 down and the total amount was $34,000, if they put $5,000 down, they're only going to finance $29,000 and they wouldn't qualify for a large loan discount. So if you know that there could be a large loan discount, say at $30,000, it would behoove you to only put $4,000 down. Yes, that's a great, great scenario, Ray. Absolutely. There's a perfect example. Kimberly, do you want to do it or should I? Uh, you do it, Zach. You do it. I just put the Ray Shevska stamp of approval on that. That was great, Dad. Awesome. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. 
That's what you pay me for. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly, what's secret number three? All right, secret number three, shorter terms, shorter terms. So many folks out there know that at 60 months, their interest rate is lower than at 72 months. But what some people don't know is that most, many or most lenders will stretch that for you a little bit and maybe go to 63 months while keeping the same interest rate, which gives you a little bit of ease with payment. And if you don't have a prepayment penalty, you can pay it off early if you like, but a shorter term. So in the, in the sense of you can do odd month financing to keep you under a threshold where rates would go up. Bingo. Explain that. Wow. Help me understand that. It. Well, it, let, let's say let's say at at sixty six months the rate would go up slightly from being at sixty months, but as long as you're sixty five months or less, then the rate is the sixty month less uh, rate. So that a, a, a smart finance manager would say, "Hey, I, I I know we're looking at sixty months, but if I do it." this loan for 63 months, your payment will be here. It'll be a lot more comfortable for you. Da, 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 da. And and so actually you, you lengthened the term, but you kept it within the short term uh, rate hike for the bank. Does that deserve another Bingo. stamp of approval? <laughs> I say it does. Your turn, Kimberly. I, I your turn. It does. Okay, you're ready? Yeah. Boom. I think that was right on my forehead. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> I'm going to have a black eye from that one. I think it was. Yeah. (laughs) All right, what's number four? All right, so number four is LTV or loan to value. All right, so uh, many banks will give you a better interest rate if you, for example, get down to 80% LTV. So if you put 20% 20 down, you're shooting for a lower interest rate which is kind of counterintuitive to the what we were just talking about, the large loan discount and, and the scenario that Ray gave. How about Ray give us a scenario for an LTV? Well, it, it could, and you could still get the large loan discount. Um, let, let's, say, let's say you're looking at a $40,000 loan amount, um, but mm-hmm. the bank would give you a slightly better rate if you were putting 20% down. So if you put... $8,000 down, you would still qualify for the large loan discount, and you might also get a slightly uh, more advantageous rate because you've got 20% down and they're in their, their sweet spot for loan to value. That's awesome because right there you're combining the two. I tend to forget the prices of vehicles these days. Uh, I believe the average selling they're all well over, the average selling price for a new yeah. car is over forty thousand today, and the average selling price for a pre-owned yeah. is over twenty five thousand. Right. So, so on some of these new vehicles, like a new BMW or a new Audi or something, maybe you can get you can combine both large discount with the yes. LTV and get your interest rate down that much lower. That's all awesome. right. And drum roll, please. Did we have yes. a fifth one? Do we have a fifth one? I think we have a Well, fifth we one. have a bonus. We have a special bonus one. Okay. Uh, we've been talking about financing, but we have a lease bonus one. Okay. And that is the multiple security deposits. Not all leasing institutions offer a multiple security deposit, but some do. And, and what I mean by that is... You would have your normal security deposit. If you're if you have a a, a lease payment that's three hundred and fifty dollars a month, the security deposit might be four hundred dollars. Well, if you were to put three or four or five, and in some cases you can go up to eight times the security deposit, every additional security deposit lowers the money factor slightly. Now. That money, if you do eight times, and let's say eight times uh, 400 is $3,200. So you're going to give the bank $3,200 to sit on that is fully refundable to you at the end of the lease. And the reason they will lower the money factor is, well, they've had the opportunity to work with that $3,200 for the last 36 months. Um, but they give you benefit for handing them that money to for them to work with. So... There's the additional lease bonus on how to lower your rate. 
Are you going to Well, I was going to say, is Sophie around? Can she help out? (laughs) (laughs) Sophie. Sophie. Oh, no, she's in the room. She'll give me the claw of approval. (laughs) The claw of approval. That's awesome. Okay, great. So, all right. Let's do a quick recap. So we obviously have the one that you just ended on here, which was the multiple security deposits. We have the loan to value ratios. If you put down a significant amount, 20% is the threshold. And then what were the other three? (laughs) They were, you can shorten the term, obviously, but keep in mind that you can have a little wiggle room most times with with that term. And also um, large tear bumps, tear bumps. Not Tierra bumps, Tierra yes, bumps. Yes, because the Tierra bump is very painful. It can be, yeah, after, you know, like eight yeah. hours, it gets tense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. they got to lighten the load with those Tierras. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time as always. Super helpful. Until next yep. time. Thank you. Next time. Bye-bye.